Hello, my name is Ian Prosser from Botanica Design in Tampa, and I'm here today with Accent Decor to show you some of the newest products in our industry for weddings and special events. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to use the formal stand from Accent Decor. So at Accent Decor, they try to make our life easier, and they do, by creating wonderful containers for us like this formal stand. We can use this in so many different places, whether it's on a, on a table, candles can go in the bottom, while flowers go in the top, or if you want to upsell, you can do flowers in the bottom as well as in the top. These could be used in ceremony locations, they could be used on a buffet table, they can be used in a sign-in table, so, so many places. It's really sturdy, which is the great thing. The nice thing here is that we have a, a nice deep tray at the top so that we can drop a plastic tray in here for ease of transportation. And at the same time, we don't have to be worried about excess water because we've got this container here that's gonna catch any of those drips and save them dropping onto the cloth. Let's have some fun with this, but first of all, I'm gonna show you the mechanics of how we're gonna put the tray together. So many of us make very large arrangements in our warehouses, in our studios, and in our shops, and they have to be transported. The nightmare of transportation is they're handled so many times. They're handled by the designer, by the person loading the truck, by the person unloading the truck, by the person that's gonna lift it to put it on the stand. So we have to make sure that our floral foam is secure in the container. So what I normally recommend is that when we take the plastic liner, we put a, a sufficient amount of foam in and then we cover it with chicken wire. This way, should something untoward happen on the way to the venue, the floral foam will not fall apart. The Chicken wire holds it together and we don't have to worry about having to remake that arrangement when we get to the location. And now I'm gonna take tape and we're just gonna run it over the container several times. Now that we're complete, it just sits right in the tray here. We have a little gap for water overflow, which is wonderful. And I'm gonna start by determining the, the width of this design by the foliage that I insert. We're gonna use some of this really great uh, Italian Ruscus. Nice little sharp cut. And I'm gonna give this real cascading effect here with this. And then I'm gonna counterbalance it by using it on the upper side at the opposite end. So in this design today, we're gonna to use some products that are very much on trend. Pampas grass is so popular right now, as well as the, I have some bleached ruscus here. A lot of these bleached products are preserved foliage that look really great, and it gives us a completely different outlook to some of the designs. So I've got some seeded eucalyptus. I'm gonna give this a nice little trail to the the front side. So we're gonna take this up into the center and then we'll start with our flowers. So what are we gonna use first? Well, I think maybe we'll use some of these romantic antique roses. So let's start off by creating our focal point here. We're keeping them fairly long so that it will give us a lot of good depth from a distance and in a photograph. And then we're gonna add some other roses that are Edith. Uh, the Edith is a little bit paler, a little bit more peachy, it's a, a smaller head. I think transitioning from the soft peach into the blush pink is gonna really help us in, in a lot of designs to look a little bit different from our competitors. So let's now add some of this ruffled lysianthus, which is really quite beautiful and we're gonna get some length on the design here. I want it to cascade to the right in this situation, and then we'll follow through and mirror image it. Great breaks on it, so you don't have to put it all in at the same time. 
You can save those, tuck them into the center, cover your mechanics. Okay, so let's include some of this beautiful preserved ruscus. It's pliable at this point, so you can massage it just a little bit. And then I'll probably use another piece at this side that then gives you this beautiful kind of S shape going through the design. I'm gonna add some snapdragons now. And the snapdragons I want to take pride of place up here. So rather than using this as salt and pepper through the design, I think it is much more effective when items are grouped or create a line for your eye to follow. So where do we go now? Well, we would like to do a grouping of the pampas grass here so that we have a, a line of pampas grass that's intersecting the line of the, the bleached ruscus. Many times you can make a design and when you walk into a room when everything is positioned, you think, hmm, you know, it looks great, but something is off. Something is not quite right. And 20% of the attendees will catch that also. Not many people will realize that it's actually the scale that is off. So not only does the arrangement need to be in scale to the room, but it needs to be in scale to the container. So this is really quite a powerful container, quite a visual presence. And so we need to make sure that we've got a floral arrangement sitting on it that doesn't look like a peanut on the top of it. Okay, so let's add some white tulips now. And I'm gonna put these in in a group. So we'll maybe do like five cascading off to the side here. I've got a few blush colored ranunculus, which are rather special. So I want to bring those into the center of the design. Maybe just a few white spray roses to give us another texture. And then just as the finishing touch, we've got some of these beautiful antique hydrangeas. And we'll just add these in at the end when we see where we have gaps in the design and where it needs some help to give us some strength to the focal area. We can just finish off with a little bit of the Italian ruscus. Let's have some come out projecting out of the center so that it looks nicely finished. There we are, we've finished this piece and we're now gonna put it into a very special vignette. It could either be in a photo op area, it could be in a lounge area. It would be a, a, a really great piece to anchor that furniture and pull all of the colorations together. So let's see where we land. Well, this looks like a nice spot to sit down and have a cocktail. In the video, we created this arrangement on the formal stand, really quite beautiful. So we made a second one to create this beautiful lounge area at any special event or wedding. It certainly would be a knockout. Thanks for watching. To shop the formal stand, please go to accentdecor.com. Join us next time. Cheers.